Hi, this is Ghost New York City. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> uh, we are in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania tonight um, for the first American date of the Tour Zero Year 2014 Tour with Ghost. Yeah, exactly. You got it right. Yeah. It's not, too, it's not that easy. Yeah. Yeah. So we're here with a nameless ghoul from Ghost. Yeah. So how are you doing? I'm fine. I'm just fine. Good. Uh, well, welcome back. To America. Thank you very this much. This is your first American date, and so uh, on behalf of New York City and the rest of America, we'd just like to say welcome back. Is We've that been... an official state, like mayor? Yeah, yes, this, this is. is. <laughs> this is this is Ghost New York City speaking on behalf of the entire country ah, of the great. USA. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so welcome back. Thank you. And we hope your time off was relaxing. And it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now you're getting back into tour mode. Yeah, it will take me another week or so, but yeah, I'm trying <laughs> my best. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, this is likely one of the last U.S. tours with Papa 2, and mm -hmm. we know Papa 3 is going to be coming soon. So, do you think that when Papa 3 comes, we'll be getting these bigger, more theatrical shows that you've talked about in the past? Uh, well, I certainly hope so. I, I, I mean, that's... I'd love to say so, Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. I no one could tell. I, we could be playing. I mean, we could be playing a basement somewhere in front of fifty people within a year. I don't know that. So, and then it's certainly gonna not gonna be more theatrical. Yeah. Maybe we'll. I don't know. But um, for you know, hopefully, yes, yes. That's that's the aim. That's the goal. That's the whole idea of it all. So, because uh, we're anxious to see what Ghost has in store for us. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. well, we got you know. Of course, we have got plans, and you know, it's all. It's a moving, living thing right now, but it's mm -hmm. kind of all set for what, what, what we want to do and what it should look like and what we want to accomplish. Mm -hmm. Or if you can put it that way, accomplishing something, but, you know, what we want to pull off. Right. we got it pretty, you know. The earlier live shows were more like solemn rituals. Oh. And now, as we've kind of seen you guys evolve, uh -huh. there's a lot more personality on stage. Yeah, I think that's, I mean, it's not like we went to a course or nothing, you know, it's a, it, we're training camp, it's just, uh, uh, I mean, at the beginning, I think everyone was, especially the band, except for Papa, that is, had, um, I, I would say that everyone was a little bit more, uh, what do you say, uh, what's the word, not caring, but, you know, just uh, aware and, and, and uh, occupied by the thought of playing it right and, and uh, you know sure. the technical parts of it the aspects of that um, but 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 uh, as for now I think everyone's so much more relaxed and you know relies and you need equipment and you know your own ability nailing it or whatnot so and uh, so now it's sheer fun you know at times playing in a band apart from it being fun all in all being on stage if you're a if you feel bad about it, you know, it can be quite a hassle. It can be a horrific experience for many people. I, I used to say that, you know, in early bands when I was younger, it could be hell, you know. What if I break a string and now I know maybe it's not that bad. Maybe no one really, you know, it's not it's not the world if it happens. But So I'd say it's it's pretty much on, you, 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 you feel more comfortable and, and can rely on stuff that, you know, so... But still, if, if I if I make a big, huge mistake, I will get embarrassed, and you won't see it. But that's the whole plan, too, you know. So no, but I, I, I the answer to your question would be that people are more relaxed, and and maybe also have played quite a lot with this band now. So I I, I figure after a while you you, you you do what works for you, and you know mm -hmm. what you want to pull across, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's pretty much it. If you, looking back at your younger self, if you could give your old self a piece of advice about doing this and touring and playing. Well, I, well, I wouldn't do that because my present eye is a result of my older struggles. Mm -hmm. So, no. Who knows who I'd be if I went back and told myself to do what I'm doing today. Maybe I would be... Re you retired. That will so you wouldn't have year. learned anything, yeah. essentially. <laughs> exactly. It's all. I mean, it's travel. It's, it's a journey too. You know. So it's a good question, though. But no, I think I, I would say, you know, of course, I'd like to go back to my twenty-year-old me and say, "Hey, man, it's going to work out fine. So you <laughs> just stay on your couch." Mm -hmm. But then it wouldn't happen. Mm -hmm. 
So while we're talking about mm -hmm. kind of touring and shows, um, mm -hmm. you guys tour a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it seems like you're always on the road. So what's the one thing that you can't live without while you're on tour? <sighs> As for well, yeah, as for me, it's it's. Uh, I didn't used to bring my computer on the road. I, it was just you know I didn't you know. But then I got this new one, the laptop one. It, this sounds silly, but it's actually, you know, I, I, I Skype home or FaceTime, whatever you want to call it, or whatever service it is. I with my family and friends, and it's like, I mean, the world certainly shrinks a whole bit when you can do that. I, it's it's been an ability for a long time, but. I'm certainly, that's important for me because, you know, I can, that's like stepping back into my living room where I also sit at a computer. So it's like, it's a small piece of home or my environment, of course. And, uh, and, and of course, your passport or whatever. But, but, but in terms of um, quality living, I'd say actually as silly a thing as my computer. Silly. No, you know, that's, yeah. and I think that goes for pretty much everyone. That's their yeah. personal space or, Although there's being social via Facebook or whatnot, so it's you know I'm not really being alone neither. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. Uh, so what do you guys do for fun? Do you have much time to you, you know tour. go that's, site? That's it. <laughs> so work and work. Yeah, work and work. So you know if if you have like a day off, mm -hmm. do you do anything fun? Do you get to see sites? No, I, actually I have this uh, on my behalf personally. I uh, on a day off I hardly ever go out to a pub or drink or nothing. I usually <coughs> just go to like a, you know, whatever restaurant is closest and uh, have a bite and then do nothing at all. Like take a day off like it was as if it was Sunday at home, you know, sacker pants all day long and mm, way too much candy and movies and you know, so, uh, I don't, I don't, I mean days off in my book, that's, that's resting, that's Sunday. So I don't. Right. I hardly ever Even if you're in a city that you've never been in before? Especially then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it depends on I mean if I if I was in I mean New York City which is or can be so enchanting, you know, or even Pittsburgh, it doesn't really matter, but New York or or, or even if, if it's a city where you know maybe a few people or you know, that are taking you out, but I try not to escalate into having another drinking night. Or, or party night, if you will, because there's plenty of that, anyways. And uh, yeah, yeah. So I try. And is this work what you guys do? You know? Yeah, I know. Got to be at work. Oh uh, yeah, certainly. Yeah. It is work, but I hope it's fun at the same time. It is. I mean, it's 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 uh, it's a, in, in my book, this is a dream happening. So so it's all fun and games, but it, there's a small. I mean, I, it would be very rude of me to I mean I to compare I mean I would, I'm, I'm what am I doing I'm sleeping 23 hours a day if I want to then I play one hour and then I drink beer for as long <laughs> as I want to. I mean it's not like I have it's it, the only downside if you will is that you're away from a possible girlfriend or wife or from family but um, I'd choose this any day or anything because I love it so that's it so, so many towns and so many venues. Have yeah. you guys ever had a real spinal tap moment? Oh, yeah, several. <laughs> several. Uh, well, I, I can't, I can't, actually, I cannot, like, pull something straight up. I, I don't remember a particular one, but there's always, I mean, you can imagine uh, with the dresses, someone forgot something. It's, we got it all, you know, in, into one kind of unit. But uh, I tend to be the kind of, janitor guy about that you know the material the caretaker and I can be quite the uh, hassle and the only thing anyone actually ever forgot something was I who forgot some crosses in England or necklaces but I uh, you know everything guitar is not working or you know getting lost or one of us got you know he's stuck in an elevator in Vancouver a couple of years ago oh, in a no. 45 <laughs> minutes you know in a oh, warehouse no. elevator and like uh, uh, was gone. <clears throat> you know, just random stuff. I, I could probably do a list, but I don't. You know, that's that's one of the downsides too. I mean, it's so it's so. Um, you experience quite a lot of stuff, and after a while, your brain is just ah, no, shut up. And that's why I take those Sundays, you know, the days off. Just, yeah. No more impressions. I want to watch Bambi or something that, you know, you just can't go wrong. Nothing bad happens. But uh, uh, 
but after a while you forget uh, you tend to forget stuff that's I mean this day has been you know new experiences but they get kind of watered down after a while because it's too much so how do you remember it all with a migraine attack or you know or you, you kind of sort it out after all you just you know funnel it or like that so yeah but mm-hmm. do you think there's ever a chance that the band would ever do anything acoustic uh, I hope not <laughs> <laughs> no I, I'm not I'm not against it in any way but uh I ghost mean, I, unplugged. We uh, ghost unplugged. Ghost butt plugged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't know, but um, probably not. I'd say. I mean, I don't know what good it would do us or anyone else. I mean, of course, we might, or even, I mean, we might record a song with, uh, you know, all acoustic guitars, mm-hmm. and, you know, more like a down tempo thing, more sacral. I don't know. But in terms of pulling off a concert, you know, at record store day with four guitars, no, I wouldn't say so. That's exactly what I was picturing. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. That would be, Somewhere. you know, like no, a I wouldn't like, say like so. a contest and like you know a really I, I know small saying, room yeah. with you know that I think I think well I think the fans would love to see something like that. The problem, yeah, I don't know if we, if we if it I don't know I don't know if it's a if I if I would enjoy watching that or not which it, or we would that's what it comes down to I mean we could probably do an electronic concert as well I mean, yeah. you know for some people to enjoy I don't know I don't know but I don't think so but you never know mm-hmm. did you see that sick fucking mandolin gang with the playing our they had the, 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 the ukulele the, ukulele's album. Yeah. Ah. the, the ritual cover <laughs> I didn't know yeah. it. it was fun though yeah it was it was it was interesting it makes me happy of course everyone just happy. are you you guys have so many tributes I mean people just I mean, you have such a dedicated fan base. And yes, indeed. Loyal yeah. and dedicated and people who, you know, travel, you know, yeah. 30 shows and just follow you all around the country. And it's just amazing. Yeah, it certainly is. And we're, I mean, it's hard realizing sometimes, especially back home when you kind of reflect it to your brothers or sisters. You're like, but it, they're writing about you on the Internet again. I'm like, what? And then, <laughs> you know, I'm out of my costume and I'm just home. My bicycle riding to my mom's, you know, lasagna Sunday. I don't know. <laughs> it's just, yeah, you know, that's just weird. Yeah. You have a little. There's a little papa and a little ghoul outside in line. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like kids, kids or here. Yeah. I think the is them. Uh, one of them is a kind of a young adult. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, and I like that. That makes me. I mean, we played a show. I think it might might have been a year ago, or if it wasn't. I can't remember where. And this guy, he must have been like 75 or 80, some old jazz, you know, lover or something, up on the balcony. He was like, oh, what's he doing here? And then, you know, he would say, I, that makes me... The more an eclectic crowd we get, the more... That's what counts, you know, every every different aspect of it. Has, just, has the crowd changed <laughs> since, from say, from your first show to, you know, your last tour? You know, maybe you attracted a certain group of people the first time around, and now you see yeah, it's more sure. attractive. Yeah, you know, it was uh, it was a smaller, but still a click to crowd the first times we played. But that was more a very much an underground crowd, I'd say, more or less. You know, a couple of hipsters as well. You know, into that underground bit that week. But, but never mind. Um, but now I we see pretty much. You know. Anyone with a music interest, you, know, you never know. You never know. For some people, we might come across as a costume, fun thing. To, for some people, we might come across as, I don't know. It's just, yeah, but it certainly changed and uh, increased, like in numbers, of course, but, but, um, but um, also the variation of the people. And I like that. It's that seductive songwriting. <laughs> Maybe it is. It is. I hope it's, so. I mean, it's music that everybody can enjoy. Uh, it, I mean, if you were to take away the lyrics, mm-hmm. I mean, the the music is you know for everybody, really. Mm, I hope so. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> hope so. Yeah. <laughs> Play it a lot. Yeah. We have one last question for uh-huh, you. Uh-huh. So, what do you think are the top five or ten must-have albums for a vinyl collection? A it, vinyl it doesn't collection? matter, you know, what genre you're talking about. Oh, oh my God! I think that oh, well, obviously you need you need to have appetite for destruction. Mm-hmm. That, that you know, mm-hmm. uh, 
and uh, I'd say the first Doors album, The Doors, and also in my catalog you would find any of the earlier Vangelis, Greek composer guy, synthesizer guy, one of his earlier albums I would say probably Spiral or something that's beautiful and then maybe I'm a huge sucker for movie soundtracks so <laughs> I throw in uh, uh, let's see here no 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 that no, no well <laughs> I found it on vinyl you know that Frank twice in Europe <laughs> twice I've never seen it in my life no but uh, I'll look for you my friend oh yeah thank you very much and, and my other friend found the third copy back in Sweden so I, uh, I was this close to having three but uh, uh, yeah something by Morricone and probably Good Bad and the Ugly the, uh, the soundtrack and then uh, and uh, another soundtrack as well I wouldn't know but you know any uh, old 70s soundtrack. soundtrack music I love that you know it's you know mm-hmm <laughs> well, okay. Uh, it looks like our time is up. So thank you so much for oh, taking time out of your schedule to chat with us today. My schedule this day yes. has been nothing. <laughs> yeah, so you're all good. Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck with the rest of the tour, and we will see you, thank you in so New much. York next month. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.